Hi everybody, welcome to the channel, it's Matrix here. In today's video I'm gonna show you guys the most overpowered glitch on Zombies, the new true solo god mode version with my own addition to it. So to make it really really easy for you guys, you can do this completely by yourself at home. Uh, the glitch you do solo, you do need a second controller, it's split screen, I don't like split screen videos but I'm gonna make an exception today because this is the most overpowered glitch that is out there and with my addition it is really really easy. Are you guys ready? So we're going to start off with this glitch. As I said, it is in split screen. I really don't like split screen videos because uh, everything gets so small. But I'm going to try my best to explain it as good as I can. So all you want to do is you add your second controller as you guys understand and start playing Firebase C. This only works on Firebase Z. Uh, and nonetheless, you can do this glitch by yourself at home. If you're new to the channel and want to see more crazies, crazy glitches like the one I'm about to show you, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the newest glitches. Now, the first thing you want to do is turn on the power and uh, just turn on all three reactors. Don't do two, just all three, because you want to make use of the teleporter later on once you have done the Godmode glitch. Now, my addition to this glitch is to do the prone glitch with the second controller first. And this glitch has been so, so useful in so many occasions. As I was the first person to show you guys before how to get under the map making use of the prone glitch where everybody was still using the god mode glitch which was, which was super annoying, you just could do it with the prone glitch. Now again we can use the prone glitch, just empty one clip once you are down with your second controller and uh, then revive him with your first controller and once you have done that everyone knows how the prone glitch works and you can make so uh, good use of this because the second player will now hold all the zombies and you have all the time in the world with your first controller to perform the glitch completely by yourself. So you have to do the whole glitch. Uh, you can do the whole glitch by yourself now. You will only make use of the second controller just to finish off a round so you, uh, your first controller, your main controller is going to spawn back with god mode. Now to do the god mode solo uh, at the top uh, part of the screen that's my main account uh, you just want to take a uh, tombstone then with the second controller you lead the last zombie to the uh, main account and you let him uh, be downed uh, prone again with the second controller to hold the zombie with you and with the first controller we are in the afterlife um, the who's who's effect of the tombstone then you want to come up to any jump pad in the map and the most important thing is that you set your uh, interact button to tap to interact. With tap to reload it is not possible so it should be tap to interact. Once your health is completely down black then you want to spam that interact button and uh, that means you may you have made use of the jump pad just before you completely died. Here in slow motion on a uh, on a single screen I show you that you actually see the interact button there for just a split second so just before you are completely downed or dead you see that interact button then you want to spam that interact button and you will spectate the second player uh, this is uh, where I did it uh, with a duo with two players but you can do this in split screen obviously as well uh, here you see it and then we are spectating uh, Controller number two and now all that controller number two needs to do is to kill the last zombie Once you spawn back in with your main controller the top screen for me here uh, You see that I am in god mode with controller number one now from here on we can uh, make the this glitch uh, even work better. We can't make use of the teleporter right now, so we can't uh, pecker punch our weapons. So there's uh, one more thing to do for that. Uh, all you need to do is go with your second controller, go through the teleporter, go to the, to the village. 
and do the bunny easter egg so you can get the coffin and that also makes it happen that player one can go through the portal once again and make use of the pack a bunch machine and the uh, wonder fist machine so you can make use and buy everything uh, you want to go in high to higher levels so just do this uh, bunny easter egg and then the last thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna show you more actually I'm going to show you how to duplicate the ray gun as well because you can uh, do the, the god mode glitch with two ray guns and the monkey bomb glitch. We're going to push out the second controller with the monkey bomb glitch so all the zombies will pile up in this. Uh, I always do it in this location. This is the fastest spawn location. There's an ammo box nearby. There's an armor station nearby and there's a crafting table right around the corner here next to the data center so you can tear up and buy everything you want and we're going to push out controller number two first so you are full screen again so i bought a monkey bomb uh, this is also still working you're going to throw it up against the wall here and you're going to pause it once the monkey bomb is in mid air for everyone who has does not know this glitch yet uh, then you want to uh, go to social on both uh, controllers and then you want to find the second player and you want to leave the party uh, with the second controller so once you have uh, found the second player you're just gonna leave the party and then once you see uh, that the second controller has left the party in the upper right corner uh, once he has completely left, then we, you can unpause from here and then we are going to our settings to get our screen back to a normal view. We're going to uh, our graphic settings and we're gonna uh, change our display area preview back to normal. You can also change your uh, field of view back to uh, 120. Sometimes that's necessary. I'm on PlayStation 5, so this works on PlayStation 5 as well, by the way. Uh, I didn't need to change it back, so I'm on the 120. Now, uh, obviously, you can build a Ray K. I, ha I have done this glitch yesterday uh, already, before uh, it was even shown on YouTube, because my friend uh, knew about it already. And uh, you can uh, either build a Ray K, uh, you, you can all do this solo or duo or whatever, then build a Ray K. And I'm also going to show you guys how to duplicate the Ray K. Uh, so you can give the Ray K to your friend as well. Uh, whenever you are doing this, make sure you have a unpack a punched gun. Make sure that your settings are back to tap to reload for this glitch. Now you want to interact and swap weapon directly and then you can uh, pack a punch that weapon So the pistol and you have two ray guns. I teared it up. I came back uh, to the firebase I swapped my pack a punch ray gun for a wall gun so my friend can pack, uh, pick up the, the pack a punch ray gun uh, always give that one away so you can duplicate the ray gun again for yourself so you have two ray guns uh, with the standard version you can only duplicate with the standard version then tear it up to uh, one ray gun to tier two and one to tier three so you can make use of both magazines uh, otherwise it will take uh, clips out, uh, well bullets out of uh, one magazine and there's no use to have two ray guns and then from here on you can slay out through the rounds and do whatever i hope it was not too much information uh, Drop a like if you like this video and uh, I will make a, a shorter version of the God Mode as well. Thanks for watching anyways uh, and I wish you guys a good day. My name is Matrix and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Ciao.